So we are going to Mount Pisgah Printing Ministry today. Um, we're going to take a little tour. Chad's going to do a little collating and really excited. This is a huge ministry where they print Bibles and send them all across the world. And so I'm hoping to find out more about it because this has been something that's been such a big deal and so heavy on our hearts is just getting God's word into homes across the world. Ready for Christmas. Okay, so this is HB. You've been part of the print shop for almost 40 years. Yes. And you are pretty much the head man here. So I'm going to ask you because you know pretty much the answers to all my questions. But the first question is, how long has the print shop um, been opened and started? It started in 1974. Okay. So that's 48 years. 48 years. Um, so tell me about how many languages, how many Bibles they print. Just give me a little rundown on what a year looks like or what even okay, a day looks we, like. We can print just about any language as long as it's not copyrighted. Okay. We have done in the past, I think, a total of 24 different languages. 24 languages. Okay. Just Spanish and English is one of the main two that we do. Okay. Uh, we've done Russian, we've done French, we've done Thai, we've done wow. Korean, we've done Japanese. We've done German, we've wow. done Arabic, and just to name a few of those, that's and, and that. But just, we're able to do just about anything. And how many Bibles are printed in a year, or even a week? Well, we probably day? averaged somewhere in the neighborhood of seven hundred fifty thousand to a million a year. Over the last three years, we've done one million. It seems like uh, when wow. COVID hit, we got we got more. And so, but over the last three years, we've done about a million a year. Do you mind sharing like what a daily or cost would be to <coughs> run the print shop? Like what? cost-wise that might look like? Well, just looking at it from uh, an hourly thing, probably around $175 and $200 an hour. Okay. Paper itself has increased up to 20%. Wow. We were paying, That's just, to give you, just to give you an idea, we were paying twenty. dollars uh, $9,000 for a truckload of paper, now it's up to $37,000. Okay. Uh, the cover stock that we get, that's in a 26 by 36 inch size uh, okay. cover stock. It was like uh, 238 per thousand, now it's up to 280 per thousand. Mm -hmm. So that's where that has come, and you know, things have just gone it's up. So it's a pretty expensive yeah. thing, but the value, the eternal value right. is right. beyond anything that can be temporal. We have volunteers come every Tuesday. Okay. Uh, we'll have anywhere from 40 to 50. Uh, before COVID, we had like almost 80 that would wow. come in. And then not only do we have those that come in regularly on our regular Tuesdays, but I'll have yeah. other churches in the area and some that are live, that are maybe two or three hours away, they want to come in, so I set special times for them to come in and to put, put scriptures together. Okay. And that. So people can actually put, you know, their hands to work being a part of this ministry, yes. you know, not just supporting it financially, right. actually being a part of putting the Bibles together. Right. They can be like the when, apostles and say, we have, yeah. our hands have handled the word of life. Unbelievable. So tell me, why is printing Bibles such a big deal to you? Like, uh, I can tell it's just like your heart, like you were so passionate about Getting God's word out. Hmm. You're gonna start crying. Yes. Uh, <laughs> You're so uh, sweet. It's good. Oh, it's so sweet. Uh, Thank you. Uh, well, when I got saved, yeah. I always wanted to do something for God. Yeah. Uh, or He put that in my heart. Yeah. yeah. He said He would give you the desires of your heart. I had no idea what it's I true. wanted to do. It's Not true. anything, okay? Yeah. But uh, I did printing when I was in the Air National Guard. Yeah. I, I printed. And then when Pastor Walls was in St. Albans, he had a printing press and I started on their bulletins. So I was doing those things and then he was decided to leave him there and he came, was coming down here and he asked me if I would be interested in coming. I began to pray and began to ask God what he wanted me to do. And I went through the first door, was opened. Yeah. This was a printing yeah. ministry that God opened for me wow. and I've been here ever since and it's a it's a blessing. Mm. I get to I get a privilege mm. and honor that I get to handle the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And I know we've seen pictures and videos of people actually receiving the mm -hmm. very first Bible that they've ever had. And I know that just, it's such a, an overwhelming feeling of gratitude, I'm sure, being a part of, you know, someone actually being able to hold and touch their very first mm -hmm. Bible. Um, you told me earlier about you actually provide Bibles for free for any missionaries, yes. is that correct? What we do is we pr provide it to the missionary at no charge, okay. as long as God has, as the funds are provided yes. for us okay. to do that. Right. And then 
you know, of course we have the shipping that we got to get involved in and there we have some people that help us with shipping yeah. and things like that but that's just the if you want to call it the tip of the iceberg there's yeah. all, so many things that are involved in this uh, ministry that yeah. people do not realize right. that it takes behind the, scenes. behind the scenes and things that happen yeah. Yeah. and then for churches here actually in the u.s yes we and sell ministries them, here we sell them at the cost the donation cost of what we have in okay. there plus the postage okay yes so pretty much at cost mind I had no idea how much time how much effort how much yeah. money goes into this but I cannot think of something that has greater eternal reward yeah um, and to also see just these sweetest volunteers and yeah. older people that would go there every week faithfully for some yeah. some have been there for 40 years yeah um, and just would sit there and collate Bibles yeah. Um, and you think, you know, somebody like that when they get to heaven and they, you know, meet people that actually came to Christ because of their effort, because yeah. of their sacrifice. We are thrilled at Chad and Erin Co. to begin this season with giving 10% of our online sales profits to Mount Pisgah Scripture Printing Ministry. So Merry Christmas. We hope you have a wonderful time with family and friends. Um, and if the Lord lays something on your heart to give to printing Bibles across the world, I, I could not think of a greater place um, to give. Yeah. I love Isaiah 55. And I know I've said it before, but when it comes back to God's word, that it won't return void and it'll accomplish that which he pleases. And I mean, if you can imagine investing in God's word, getting in someone's hands, I don't think you can go wrong with that. And um, so we are excited, we're thrilled, and we are looking forward to how God is going to use this ministry in an amazing way and for eternal impact.